Okay, today we are looking at the EVGA Supernova 1000 P2 80 plus platinum certified 1000 watt power supply unit. If we look on the back of the box here, EVGA details some of the things that make this power supply unit stand out. Some of it, we'll get into that technology they're talking about there a bit later on. Okay, so let's get this thing unboxed. While I'm doing that, I shall tell you all about it. I said before this is an 80 plus platinum certified power supply unit that's 92% efficiency. It is fully modular so all the cables can be plugged in and taken out if you don't need them. It has a high amperage single rail with a max output of 83.3 amps and that's pretty damn high. It features over voltage protection, under voltage protection, over current protection, over power protection, short circuit protection. It also comes with a 10 year warranty which is pretty impressive. Inside it has Japanese Nippon Chemicon solid state capacitors which improves long term reliability. And that's indeed a very very good thing. Okay, the dimensions of this are 150 by 85 by 200 millimeters. It features a 140 millimeter ultra quiet two ball bearing fan, which is very quiet. I have not heard it yet under testing. It has an eco switch for zero fan noise when it's turned on when the power supply unit is under 45 degrees. On the side here, there's a sticker. It's mirrored on the other side as well. It'll just tell you some details, the numbers that it can put out, etc. Okay, the connectors. We have the standard motherboard connector. We have four SATA port connectors, two, they say RUP1 and RUP2, but they're for the Molex connectors. CPU1 and CPU2, they are eight for the 8 pin CPU connectors. And then we've got six connectors for the graphics cards. Okay, so here are all the cables that it comes with. There's quite a few of them. This is just the standard power lead. It comes with most power supplies, or all power supplies. We've got the 24 pin motherboard connector here. We have two Molex cables with five Molex connectors and one floppy connector. Who would have thought? Hmm. We have two 4 plus 4 CPU 12 volt power connectors here and we have four SATA cables two of them have three connectors two of them have two connectors on them so that's a lot of things you can connect to those we have six yes six PCIe cables four of them are six plus two and two of them are just six bit that comes with the standard four PSU screws and it has, you can't see very well, these are some ties to the cable. Hi guys, just a quick one really, there isn't too much to say on this. Uh, I actually have this power supply unit in my system at this very moment. I just want to explain the reason there aren't too many like test numbers is because I don't have the hardware to test this up to 1000 watts or even close to 1000 watts. I mean, I would have to get like three graphics cards and run them in Crossfire. My like my case for this isn't big enough and just yeah, I can't do that. I only I got this because I wanted something that's in the future I'm definitely going to be able to run whatever I like with it and at the moment it's it's barely breaking a sweat to be honest as I said earlier if you've got the eco switch on that means that if it's below 45 degrees the fan just won't run at all so it'll be completely silent also that's very good for power saving of course now it does come with this kind of bag here that I didn't really point out too much. I don't actually know what it's for but I've put the cables inside it because yeah why not. The, the strange thing about this is 
I'm not sure why they chose bright red. I mean, it's quite... Ha I didn't actually know when I got this that they were going to be bright red. I should probably should have looked a bit a bit closer, but, you know, I don't like to look up products I'm going to be reviewing because it kind of... It might make me biased or something like that, okay? But anyway, yeah. Red. If your system's red, that'll be great, but if your system's, like, blue or, like, something else, then that's not so good, maybe. They are very, 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 very well made. I suppose you can, if you're the type of person to get something like this, then you could easily redo these in your own custom colour. Uh, not much else to say about this. Yeah, floppy connector. A floppy connector. Who the hell has a floppy connector? Yeah, yeah. I'm too young. I don't recognise things like this. I had to look that up. It's a floppy connector. You know, I haven't seen floppy drives since I was in school. So, yeah. So who is this power supply unit for? Well, really, this is for the enthusiasts, the people who want to run three or four graphics cards. Maybe three. Maybe you need more. You probably need an even higher wattage power supply with that. Uh, but this is for like using it like I am at the moment with just one graphics card. Even though it's the 280x, which is like power. I'll have all of it. Yeah. Even with something like that, it's a bit of overkill. I've I've got a Corsair TX750M, and it's actually behind the camera over there. Uh, and that that was more than enough for I'm running, but yeah. So if you're thinking of buying a new power supply, unless you're planning on running like two, uh, a minimum of two graphics cards, then I wouldn't really look at this. You're probably better off with something a little bit lower down, a little bit cheaper. These are at the time of making this video around the hundred and fifty pound mark, which you know it might be. I mean, I can't tell you this for definite now, but it might be okay because you might, you're might you saving money on it. I mean, it's this barely breaking sweat, like running one graphics card and that, and a slightly overclocked 4770K. So you'll be saving money on power like that, and it has a 10-year warranty. I mean, 10 years, and EVGA have pretty good customer services. I actually read that all the time. I've never actually experienced I've never because none of their products have ever gone wrong with me, so... But I do like the fact that their warranty is transferable. Zotac, you need to do the same. Uh, yeah, so I don't think I have much else to say about this. I was very impressed with it. It's in my system. If anything else goes wrong, I shall let you know. So, yeah, there we go. I'll see you guys next time.